Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Kyodokan. I'm Ryusei. Today I'm going to cook the rice and introduce Japanese traditional tools. This is my best way now. Nowadays, efficiency is very important. On the other hand, this method is not efficient. But I'm sure this traditional method gives us fantastic experience. And it's necessary for our future. Yes, let's go! This is a short grain japonica. The grains are beautiful and almost the same size. Measure the rice. Japanese people usually use this cup to measure it. This unit is go. One go is about 150 grams of rice. Okay. 162 grams Today, I'm going to cook 2 goals of rice Total weight is 318 grams I'm going to rinse them Add water And stir gently This fast water has smell of brown So discard it as soon as possible Mix well. Add water. Start gently. The second water is very cloudy. Through a weight. When I mix rice, I'm conscious of loving the grains each other. The third water is still cloudy. Discard it. Add water again. The water is almost clear. OK. I leave it for 30 minutes to absorb the water. 30 minutes later. Drain a sieve. Okay, this is the rinsed rice. I measure it again. 422 grams. Measuring the rice twice helps me to cook my favorite texture of it. Today, I use a tonabe. Using a tonabe is more difficult than a rice cooker. It doesn't have scales. So we have to adjust the amount of water ourselves. This is a pot of a rice cooker. It has scales and we don't need to control the level of fire. So we can cook the rice easier. The reason I use the nabe is very simple. It's beautiful and interesting. I love the nabe because it's one of Japanese culture. I'm proud of it. Let's use it. Place rinsed rice in the tonabe. I add the same amount of water in it. 422 grams. If you like soft texture, I recommend to add 10% more water. I've finished to prepare it for cooking. Cover with lid. Go. Turn on the heat. Donabe has low thermal conductivity, so the temperature rises gradually. It helps to bring out more sweetness of rice. Heat it for 7 minutes with high heat. 7 minutes later, it begins to boil and steam rises up. Turn down the heat, low. Open the lid. It's boiling and there is a lot of water now. Mix the rice quickly to cook it evenly. 
I'm going to taste it now. The rice is shiny and sticky. It's half done, but it becomes sweet and good. Heat it for 7 minutes. 7 minutes later, turn off the heat and let stand for 10 minutes. Make sure not to open the lid. Do you know this? This is Ohitsu. It's a Japanese traditional tool to preserve cooked rice. This is made of wood. It absorbs excess water and excess heat. Moreover, it adds nice wooden flavor. It helps us to keep the rice with shiny, sticky, and tasty. Ohitsu is the last piece to make perfect rice. Before using it, keep the ohitsu moistened. And then leave it for a few minutes. The rice is done. Open. Shiny and beautiful white. I transfer the rice to the ohitsu. Okay. Cover with clean wet cloth for 5 minutes to cool off it. 5 minutes later, remove the cloth and cover with a wooden lid. Before arranging on a bowl, please introduce okoge. Do you know okoge? This is okoge. In Japan, almost people like it. Okoge smells good and it's crispy and tasty. Let's arrange on the bowl. I pile up the rice on the bowl, like a small mountain. Okay. Beautiful and fluffy rice is down. I recommend to eat it within a half day. Thank you, how was this video? These tools make our table special. But it's a little bit tough to cook the rice with traditional method every day. Actually, I use a donabe and a rice cooker too. How do you cook the rice? At last, if you have any questions, please ask me. Thank you for watching to the end. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a nice day. See you later. 